Old Prague Legends. Prague's Jewish town, located in the district called Yosifov, used to be a well-known cultural and economic center during the reign of Emperor Rudolf II. The Jewish town has been associated since time immemorial with legends and ghost stories. The most famous is the one about the golem, an artificial being without its own will. Rabbi Lur was a very learned and progressive man. Many times he protected the Prague Jews from danger, but he felt that with old age his strength was weakening and he was worried about the fate of the Jewish town once he was gone. He sought help in books of wisdom until he actually found it. He called upon his two pupils and together in the cellar of the rabbi's house, they modeled a huge man from clay, the golem. The rabbi then asked the first pupil who had a fiery nature to walk around the golem seven times and recite the sacred words. When the pupil did this for the first time, the clay began to dry out. And when he had walked around for the seventh time, the clay glowed like a hot furnace. Then the rabbi asked the second pupil to do the same. He had a watery disposition and the statue began to cool until it had the temperature of human skin. Then Rabbi Lur himself began to stride around the golem. He loudly recited the sacred words and finally placed the Shem under the golem's tongue, a piece of parchment with secret symbols. This brought the golem to life. The rabbi and his pupils took the golem to the rabbi's house. There Lur told his wife, this is our new servant. His name is Yosef and he will live with us. In the day, Yosef helped at the synagogue or sat in the kitchen. At night, he walked around the Jewish town and took care of the safety of its residents. Every Friday before evening prayer in the synagogue, the rabbi removed the parchment from Yosef's mouth so the golem could celebrate the Sabbath. If he failed to do this even once, the huge golem's strength would destroy everything around him. The news of strong Yosef soon spread, and anyone who wanted to commit a sin in the Jewish town preferred to keep well out of his way. If something were about to happen, it was enough for Yosef to appear. He was well respected. One day, the rabbi's daughter fell sick and there was no medicine to treat her. The rabbi was so concerned that he went straight from her bed to the synagogue for Friday prayer and forgot all about the golem. He had so much strength built up inside him that he left the kitchen bench and emerged onto the streets. There he caused havoc and destroyed everything in his path. The terrified people ran after the rabbi into the synagogue and he realized what he had done. He dashed out into the street and called, Yosef, stop. The golem obediently stopped and returned to his bench in the kitchen. After prayers, the rabbi went home with his two assistants. They took the golem away to the grounds of the old new synagogue and told him to lie down. The rabbi removed the parchment from his mouth and recited the sacred words backwards. Then he walked around his body backwards seven times and the golem stopped breathing. During the last walk, the golem transformed into the mound of clay that he had been at the start. So the golem disappeared from the world and no longer caused people harm.